harmonization uh, of definitions of cybercrime, uh, there arises, I think, um, quite a difficulty. Well, maybe we can agree in Europe what, what a cybercrime is, but when it comes to a cybercrime, let's say, in a regime somewhere in the Middle East, uh, we run into definition troubles, I would say. What, what's your take on that, Christopher? Yes, I will. Um, uh, I'm working with a group called Telecomics, and uh, we are working both uh, to uh, kind of promote freedom of speech in, uh, in places like this, uh, but more importantly, we are uh, working uh, directly on the networks with uh, technological activism. And uh, during the past year, uh, we have had special focus to uh, the Middle East and North Africa. And from, from this kind of... Uh, uh, from this kind of perspective, I want to highlight three paradoxes of uh, what can go wrong and three, three failures when addressing cybercrime. And um, the first paradox and the first uh, kind of scenario is uh, data retention in Syria. Um, recently, it was discovered and it was exposed that uh, Syria had... Uh, a number of uh, devices uh, called blue coat machines. Uh, they are made in the U.S. Uh, and they are used for data retention. And uh, they produced uh, large log files that were uh, used as evidence to, to kind of uh, uh, convince everybody that, look here, there is data retention going on in, in, in Syria, and it's causing a lot of harm. Um, these machines, these blue coat machines, were never intended to end up in Syria. They were sold to Iraq, and uh, then somehow uh, they found their way into the Syrian networks. Now, the problem with data retention becomes very clear in a case uh, uh, like this. Because these logs, they reveal exactly how, how detailed uh, data retention becomes. Uh, and also it uh, reveals uh, what happens when log files, because it's, it's a matter of when, it's not a matter of if, when log files actually come into the wrong hands. And from, from our perspective here, the Syrian government is already the, the wrong hands. So this, I would say, is one paradox of when we are applying data retention as a general method to address cybercrime that when it is used in a, in a way that uh, we, we, we think is wrong, uh, then we don't know exactly what to say because these log files are present on, on, European, on European soil. These are already here. Um, second paradox I want to, to talk about is um, when we are trying to ban so-called hacking tools. Now, hacking tools and, and, and malicious software is something that uh, we, we consider to be a cybercrime. But uh, these softwares are s essential and, and, and crucial for, for network administrators to, to make systems secure. We need to use these tools in order to make um, a critical inf our critical infrastructure safe. We need to test, test it for, for, for vulnerabilities using these softwares. Now, when taking it to another level, or a kind of a, a paradox that comes from this, is that even though uh, when, it's, uh, when it's made, it's made actually by, for example, uh, the UK firm Finfisher. Uh, it's part of Gamma International. And they are making interception software uh, to hijack computers. And it has ended up in Egypt. There were um, uh, documents were revealed uh, during the first, first part of the revolution that is still going on, that Finn Fisher had sold interception software uh, to Egypt. And, so, and this is a hacking tool, uh, definitely. It's uh, like a malicious virus that infects your computer and takes over it. And then you can use this software just to, to, to log the passwords and, and you can infiltrate uh, this user uh, in extreme detail. So hacking tools are not only considered to be a cyber threat or a cyber crime, it is also something that we use for good purposes, and it is something that we export to uh, countries where it's used uh, to hurt people. The third paradox, is, which has been mentioned uh, already before, it's web filtering. 
and uh, especially uh, the primitive type of web filtering, which is based uh, on the domain name level, uh, DNS filtering. Now, uh, the paradox here is that it's used to prevent cybercrime for, from taking place in the first place. We don't want people to access this website, so we block it. Now, as has already been mentioned, this is an early warning system for the people who are actually putting bad content on the internet. When is something is blocked, we, uh, the person who has, has put, put up some illegal material is, um, has, has an early warning, can, can erase all, um, all his or her traces. Now, also, this type of filtering is very easily circumvented. Uh, thanks to the copyright industry uh, and their attempts to to, uh, to filter out certain content of the internet, uh, European users have become very skilled at circumventing uh, these uh, um, these type of primitive filterings. Now, this same type of technology is exported um, by European and American uh, companies, and they are being built in to the technological infrastructure. This means that we get surveillance as default in the networks. And we are, uh, we, we are building these systems in Europe, especially, I mean, data retention is something which is very costly for the internet service providers. So we are getting surveillance by default. And then this is used when we are deploying uh, internet infrastructure in other countries uh, outside the European Union. Or, or elsewhere, the surveillance comes. This is called path dependency. This becomes the standard of making an infrastructure. And this means, I would say, that we're building in very dangerous elements to the networks. We are making surveillance default. We are making these data retention log files default. They will end up in the, in the wrong hands. If we're making filtering default in the networks, it will be used. Uh, and if we are uh, um, allowing these companies such as FinFisher to export uh, this type of infiltration, infiltration uh, software, we are making it uh, a default and legitimate uh, business to uh, abuse human rights. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Well, that sounds like...